Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, still doing a little land clearing here today. Entered another piece of equipment. Uh, little tractor's done quite a bit of work here as you can see, but it would only push the uh, push the dirt and stumps so far, so had to uh, rent a bigger piece of equipment today. This is about a 10,000 pound skid steer. And uh, it looks like it's doing quite a bit better at moving some of the uh, moving some of the piles around and, and uh, make a little bit more room around where Tyler is going to build his house at. So after he gets done cleaning up here, then of course he'll go up to the other building site and uh, do some cleaning up up there. So so it's pretty cool. To see the progress we're making. Uh, ground is starting to dry up a little bit finally. Um, not enough that I can park my truck and trailer in the driveway. I'm still leaving them down at the neighbor's house, but, but it is getting drier. It's, uh, the ground out here is really, really different compared to what we're used to in Missouri. So, um, there's no rocks here at all, you know, until you get down about four feet deep and then you hit a, you hit a gravel layer down there. I can't remember what they call that. But, but, um, but apparently about every place out here has a big gravel layer underneath their property. If you had an excavator where you could get to it, you can have your own gravel. And a lot of places out here actually do that. Um, they use an excavator and um, they call it, um, I think they call it a uh, slip, slip excavating or something like that. They basically just pull all the dirt off, take the gravel out, put the dirt back in, and then put the gravel back on top. And, come up with about the same ground height that they had to start with so um, I don't know if that's anything we're gonna be able to do here we're probably gonna have to get our gravel from the quarry but the nice thing about it is we have a quarry just up across the highway so we'll actually just have to go up our dirt road straight across the highway and uh, right into the quarry entrance so we actually don't even have to run down the highway with it any so, uh, so we'll probably wind up renting a dump trailer and uh, hauling the gravel ourselves, so that'll save a little money. And, and uh, we're all about doing everything we can ourselves to save a buck. And uh, besides that, that's just what we do. That's uh, that's the Mitchell way, I think. So do everything you can yourself without paying somebody else to do it. We did. Uh, I did try a thermosail yesterday when we were out here working. Uh, first time to try one of those out and um, it definitely helps with the mosquitoes quite a bit so, obviously if the wind's blowing it, it wouldn't but it, um, definitely was better than having to spray yourself with you know off or something like that constantly so when you get up towards dark with all this fresh dirt and uh, mosquitoes get pretty bad so not quite as bad as everybody says but you know, we're still um, everybody says we're still into the time of season where we still just have the big dumb mosquitoes they uh, say the, slow, the small fast ones are yet to come so we'll see we, uh, get to that point where we're at but, but it's um, you can see we've moved a lot of a lot of stuff I'll uh, walk up here and show you the other building site of course, this road here still has to be uh, cut, gravel hauled in. I don't even know how many yards of gravel we need, but a lot. And of course, we'll have to put down matting on this too as we build the build the road coming in. So, walking up here now to Prairie's build site. He's got it cleaned up quite a bit with a little tractor. That's uh, smoothed up quite a bit. So we'll have that skid steer up here after a while and we'll uh, make this side a little bit bigger. But I think this one's kind of cool where it's all right here in the trees. And... Uh,
show you a hole we dug yesterday um, for Perry's new outhouse. So we'll start building that. That's kind of the first structure that gets built. So it's a we made a pretty fair size hole. We didn't want to have to come back and do it again later. So I believe this will suffice. It's uh, about four foot deep and about a five foot square. So I think that'll do. It's been a pretty fun process though. We've, uh, we've definitely Definitely worked a lot, but it's been it's been fun. It's rewarding whenever you see some progress being made. So, wish more of our friends and family could see it. But we're we're gaining on it. We got another little trail we made here. It goes back down to my cabin. And what you see here, this big opening here we cut a lot of brush down in that um, here a week or so ago and uh, of course after the cabins are done uh, our next project to be clearing this whole open section out here that you see where there's no trees uh, we'll be clearing this out completely and um, you know, we'll put a well in there that's where our uh, greenhouse will go and uh, you know, probably a chicken pen out there and uh, and then of course you know, the sawmill will be we'll set it up out here as well so that basically it's out here will be a big gravel pad because we need a place to uh, park our trailers and uh, where it's not a real pain to get them in and out because um, you know, we have so many trailers it seems like three enclosed trailers um, the bigger flatbed trailer, small trailer, Tyler small trailer, and then we have a snowmobile trailer as well, um, or snow machine trailer, I should say. So, anyway, uh, a lot of stuff to park, and, uh, and of course we'll have to build some, you know, big woodshed and you know that kind of thing. So we got we got lots of work to do. Lots and lots of work to do. So, just right now, getting the um, getting the cabins built to a priority. Everybody, um, everybody kind of wants to have their own place, and um, can't blame anybody for that. So, but it is it is fun. I've definitely enjoyed doing what we're doing here. And uh, mud hasn't been such a great thing, but other than that. And even that's not something you can tolerate for a while. Don't last forever. But anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you would. We have seen uh, quite an uptick in our uh, subscribers and uh, and our views. So we hope that continues. So thank you very much for watching.